Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I truly appreciate you joining me. I hope everyone's having a great weekend. I have a large Dollar Tree haul. I have not purchased this much from Dollar Tree in a long time, so I better get started. I picked up this large container or large bucket, it has the cutouts for the handles, and it's this rusty red and what I'm going to use it for is when I'm doing my alcohol spraying or anything like that for backgrounds, different projects, put it in here and spray and not get it all over the craft room, especially the carpet. <laughs> so that's why I purchased that. Jack picked up these putty knives. You get three in a pack. And I'm just going to be adding to the bucket. All right, he also picked up two Hot Wheels. Oh, got caught together. This one here. And this one. I love the purple on that one. Really, really cool. All right, I picked up three packages of these uh, cutting mats. And they're really sturdy. Um, I am going to cut them out in a five by seven. I think that's the size and I think I can get three per mat and I'm gonna be using them uh, for um, journal covers. So when I get done with that project, I'll share uh, what I'm doing, but I needed uh, like about 10 uh, five by seven covers. So that's why I picked those up. All right, we needed a spray bottle. We filled this with uh, Clorox cleanup and, and some water and then we spray it in our shower when we're done. So needed one of those. And speaking of our bathrooms, uh, I got this Wizard air freshener. It's vanilla and I cannot tell what that says. Vanilla and something. And this smells really good. Mm, smells really good. That's for our guest bathroom, so I will put that in there. All right, let's see. What are we moving to? Oh, picked up six bags of the Biggs Dill Pickle Sunflower Seeds. I've mentioned this before. This is one of our favorite snacks, so six of those. And then I needed two containers. Uh, I've made some salsa that I'm going to share so um, I picked up the McCormick. You get two containers with the lids. They're fairly nice size containers. So I got those. All right. I think we're going to move into crafty items. Uh, in the wood section, I saw these um, little wood embellishments. These are just so cute. And I don't think I have these. I do have others that I've purchased either from Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree but I didn't have these particular shapes. And uh, certainly at Hobby Lobby, they're not $1.25. So these ones are really cute. These have, let's see if I can see what they have. They have like a, I think a little owl, a little crown, a little flower, a heart, and you know, a couple other shapes there. So I got those. Those are so fun either to uh, paint or use distress ink on or stain works really well. They had another set and these ones were cute too so I got those. So picked those two up. Picked up one, two, three, one, two, three, four packages of these square wood planks and you get six in here. Now if you watched my Color and Create With Us You Rock Art video on Monday you saw what project I am going to be using these for. So pick them up and I'm gonna be sharing those with uh, the ladies that attend the Tahajale branch and they're gonna be making Christmas plaques. So uh, I picked those up for their project. Um, I thought that I would need this. This is for another project for the ladies out there in the Tahajale branch. Um, I needed to die cut some words, uh, peace and joy, because they're going to also be making Christmas cards. And I thought I might use this uh, 
to cut out the words peace and joy on my Cricut. I still need to figure out how to do that. But I had not seen these. It's iron-on and it's foil and it's the gold. And they also had like a pinkish reddish. It wasn't really a, a bright red. Uh, but it wasn't really pink. It was in between that. And they also had blue. So I picked up two of the gold. So I need to do some checking on how to die cut just a bunch of words that say joy and, and a bunch that say peace. So I need to figure that out. Uh, saw some gems. I had never seen these gems. You, it's a long strip of gems. And um, they're adhesive gems. And they're in orange i think those are really pretty i'm currently working on the journal it's the great pumpkin charlie brown so i thought ooh, that's going to be some cool embellishments for that journal so i picked up two of them we'll see how that turns out um this was a wish list item and uh i have purchased some of the clear stamps that are new but i found some more so these ones are the alphabet, and it looks like there are three, maybe three different sets of alphabet in here. So there's that, and I picked up two because I'm going to be sharing with my BFF Camille. These ones have words like hello and uh, congrats, well done. Let's see if I can read some larger print ones. Uh, welcome. So there's lots of words there. Again, picked up two to share with Camille. These ones have more, I think, more of the like the sentiment type of words. So again, picked up two. And these ones, I think these ones are like background stamps, which will be really fun. And picked up two of those. So that was a wish list item. I was like so happy to find those. All right. Um, I'm going to move into some Halloween items because, again, I was shopping for things to embellish the journal. It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using all of this stuff, but I thought, you know, I'd rather have it on hand and be able to uh, figure out if I need it or not. So these ones are uh, like wood stickers and you get a spider. And I, I liked it because of the haunted house. And I need, so, oh, let me put this behind it. See the haunted house there? I think that one, that's why I got it. And then you get some other uh, things there. There's the spider there. Uh, let's see, what else do you get? Um, oh, you get a witch. Uh, you get Boo, another spider, and another Boo. So I got those, and I think they're wood. Yeah, I think they are. Oh, and a bat. There's a bat there, too. So I got that. And then I also got the pumpkins, or, uh, yeah, and uh, the jack-o'-lanterns, actually. So there's some that are painted, some that have glitter, and some that are just the natural wood. So I got those. Let's see. Let me put these all here. This is some little ghosts. They're felt uh, shapes, I think is what it says. Felt shapes and they're little ghosts. And I thought, yeah, I think I could use these in the journal. So really cute. And I also picked up the jack-o'-lanterns. Cute. Let me see how many you get in here. You get quite a few. Um, I don't see the count. Oh, it says it right there, I think. Right there. It's too small for me to see, but I think it's right there. So, picked up that for possibility for the journal. This is also a possibility for the journal. I just like the ghost. And then they also have some jack-o'-lanterns in there. So, there's that package. I'm actually going to open this one because I want to see it laid out. Or opened up. Oh, it has bats too. So here is the ghost. Here's the jack-o'-lantern. And here is the bat. 
Ooh, I think I can use all of these. Now, you know, obviously I'm going to take them off the uh, ribbon. So it's quite large. Yeah, really cool. Uh, yeah, I like that. So hopefully can use that in the journal. We shall see how it all evolves. I got this scarf because um, I thought it would be a great closure for the journal. I don't know if I'll use it or not, but I thought it would be nice. So I'm actually going to see if I can take it out of the package so we can look at this. And here it is. I like the uh, kind of the black and white stripe on it. And then, oh, I think it's an infinity scar. Let me see. It is. That's okay because I can still use it. Um, I can always, you know, cut it in half and then stitch it back together or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm still on the fence whether I'm going to use that or not. All right. I also picked up some bags that I'm thinking about adding to the journal. This one is the haunted house with the moon and the bats in the black background and the witch flying in the sky. You have some ghosts. I think that's really cute. picked up the one with the candy corn. Really cute. And if I don't use these, I'll use them at Halloween time to give out treats. Uh, picked up some larger bags. This one with the jack-o'-lantern. You get two. Again, they're really nice to add to a journal. Either uh, cinch it here or cinch it here. Just either way would work. So I got those. And then I I got the ghost. Again, you get two in a pack. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be using those in the journal. All right, you guys have already seen the garland. You've seen the felt pieces. Just going to add that to over there. That. Um, I saw these and I thought these would make great addition to put in pockets and tuck spots of that journal. And it looks like they are party favors. I'm going to open it and see. Let's see. Does it open from the bottom? No. Again, if I don't use these, I can hand these out to trick-or-treaters that come to my door. Oh, you know, they're kind of cool. They're, they, I think they're stencils. Are they stencils? They could either be stencils or bookmarks. I'm not sure. You get the purple ones. You get two of those. And you get two of the orange I just like the bright colors to add to that journal and to lime green ones. So I got those and let me show you the package and you can see what they say. It says party favors right there. So yeah, again, not sure if I'm going to use them, but more than likely will. Also found... Um, these are the window clings, I think they're what they're called. Yes, window decor or window decorations. I just felt like this was more of the Halloween design that I wanted for the journal. It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown because it's more cutesy. So I picked this one up and it, it's a trick or treat with the witch and the black cat, the jack-o'-lantern and a spider, some candy corn and more candy. So cute. Again, to embellish that journal. Then this one says Boo. You have monsters. You have the cutest little ghost, I think. it. Uh, I think the ghost is cute with the little pink cheeks. Love that one. And then this one says Happy Halloween. And it has your skeleton, your Frankenstein, some more jack-o'-lanterns, and some spiders, some more candy corn. Just really, really cute. So again, I'm not sure. Um, I think I'm adding these to the journal. So we'll just have to see how it all evolves. <laughs> I'm at the beginning stages of it. All right. I left these next few items for the end. So we're coming up to the end because these were wish list items. So, uh, again, um, 
I am going to be putting together card kits for the ladies at the Tahajale branch so they can make Christmas cards. And I have a design in mind uh, and I wanted it to have foil for the card front. Well, I didn't have a whole lot of foil cardstock. So I was seeing, uh, well, I watch a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. <laughs> I don't know who hauled this first or has hauled this, but I thought I got to get this because you get quite a bit of cardstock, of foil cardstock, for $1.25. You actually get eight pieces. And I think, I'm not sure what size these are, but it's bigger than a 5x7, I'm, I'm pretty sure. It looks like it's a 6x6. Six six. Let me see. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, it looks like it's a 6x6. Six six. So it's by Crafter Square, and it's foil. And I want to show you something, because they're not all silver. They're different colors. So you get two of the silver. Pretty. And it's pretty thick cardstock. You get two of this gorgeous gold. You get two of the red. Oh, well, I thought you got two of the red. I think maybe they made a mistake. I think you get two of the red, but I got a silver and a red in that pack. Oh, maybe maybe one is right. And then one green and one blue. How pretty. So I thought this was a great, great deal. So I picked up 10 packs. Yeah, just so I could have enough to create those card kits for those ladies to make their Christmas cards. And uh, again, I'm just going to have everything cut out. I'm going to have the card bases. These are going to be the card fronts. I'm going to have doilies for part of the embellishment. And I think I'm going to try to die cut Peace and Joy and then a little embellishment. I'm not sure what that'll be, but I'll have to search through my Christmas things and uh, let them put their Christmas cards together. So uh, that's, that's what my plan is. So... I was very, very happy to find this foil cardstock, um, and they had a lot, so I didn't wipe them out. So I got 10 packages. So let me try to, oops, I'm not going to be able to put that in right now, so I will put that in in a minute. So I got 10 packages of this, I think they're calling it uh, foil cardstock, foil cardstock, eight pieces for $1.25. Amazing. All right, so let me set all of this foil cardstock aside. Yes, glad to have found that wish list item. My next wish list item are these diamond painting. Let me see what they're calling it. They are calling it diamond painting. Uh, diamond painting sheet I think is what it says I'll show you I'll show it to you in a minute they had three different ones now I love to diamond paint I haven't completed a project in quite a while I had done um they are think about a 16 by 20 I think I've, I've done a lot that size but I kind of got burnt out so I haven't done one for quite a while last year I did a 10 by 10 and I gave it to the lady that cuts my hair and it was a flower uh, but I haven't done one since I did a little keychain diamond painting when I was in Utah um, so I like doing them but for me because I'm visually impaired they take me a long time I have to use a lot of low vision aids to diamond paint so um, you know I haven't done one in a while and I thought this would be a, a great start to get back into diamond painting because they're small. So this one is of a toucan, I believe, and it's so pretty. And of course you get everything in here. And I'm going to open this one. So you get, and I'll show you, oh yes, ooh, these are really pretty. Okay, so you get your canvas, and I'm going to look at that. All right, well, it is not much like a canvas, like the usual diamond paintings. It's more like cardstock with, with um, uh, adhesive on it, and it's really pretty. It's a partial, so that's nice too, meaning only part of it is 
uh, where you put the uh, drills on, which are the little crystals or diamonds. So there is how that looks. So see, you just put the uh, crystals, diamond paintings, uh, drills on the bird. So that shouldn't take too long. And then along with that kit, you get all the colors you're going to need. So those are really bright and pretty. Look at that. Wow. So that's nice. And then you get your what's called your little boat and your wax and your pen. That that is a great deal for a dollar twenty-five. You also get probably an instruction sheet. So that's really really cool. That is really cool. Um, these are the only. Well, I haven't shown you the other two, but I only found three of them. So again, I found this two can, and let me put all of this back together. Okay, I found. Where's the wrapper for that? Oh, here it is. So I found the. The toucan, if that's the correct bird, I found that one. I also found this gorgeous tiger, and I bet that it's a partial also. Let me take a quick peek and see. Now that I know, yes, it's a partial, so you're only going to be putting the drills on the tiger. That'll be pretty. And of course, you get your drills and your boat and your pen and wax also. Put that back in and then the third one that I found is this um, vase with these beautiful flowers and I like that too so if you have seen other diamond painting kits at Dollar Tree that are different from these uh, comment in the section uh, down in the uh, comment section below because I'll be interested to know if they do but yeah, what a great, great price. And I think these would be easy enough that kids could do these too. So, and if you haven't tried diamond painting, this is a great way to start. Yeah, just a real small little project. All right, that was a wish list item. Uh, let's see, did I get everything? I think I did get everything. It was a large Dollar Tree haul, so I really do appreciate you hanging in there with me and hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Till next time, be safe, be happy, be positive, and you guys wasn't wrong. quite done. I have one more item, and yes, it is a wish list item. I cannot believe I found this. It is the Downton Abbey cookbook. Oh my gosh, I'm a huge, huge fan. So it has gorgeous, glossy photos in here. And I haven't taken a quick, quick look, but it says it's a cookbook, so I imagine they have some uh, yummy recipes in here from the show. But the, the pictures are just amazing. So for a dollar twenty-five, oh, she was one of my favorite characters. <laughs> uh, for a dollar twenty-five, and for uh, to include some recipes in here, oh yes, I love it. All right, now I'm done.